Right, this is how to set up a Terraria server. Now, this is pretty easy. Now, the download link for the original one is not working for me right now. I'll put I'll put a um, upload to this file right here, and I'll put the link where I got it from, just in case that does come back up. If it doesn't come up, you just use the other link. So, once you have it downloaded, you need a Windows laptop. Now, what you need to do is run it. And we can do new world. If you had a world on there, it'll show up in that list. Now it needs to be a mobile world, not a PC world. And what is it? Test. And once it does that, it'll create the world. And after that, you'll have a Terraria server. Now, a couple of bugs I have found with this Terraria server. If you do not clear the window, it'll not allow any users to connect to it. Now, that is a pretty big issue, especially when you have a pretty large server, people joining, chatting in the chat. Now, another one, there's no way to make someone an admin to kick rule breakers. You have to do it through the console. But other than that, it's smoothly, doesn't take a lot of CPU usage, so you don't need a lot of RAM or anything. So, yeah, once you're doing this, one, I need this is the players, eight's fine for now. This is the port. You usually want to keep it this way. If you're running multiple servers on the computer, you'll need to change that port. And we want the port forward automatically. And we don't want any password for it. And allow it for your firewall. And your Terraria server is set up. Now, it's on to connect to it. Alright, here inside of Mobile Terraria, we're going to need to select on a character. And you'll have to type in your computer's IP address. Now, sometimes you'll have to do this, it'll show up in local sometimes, but if we go ahead and connect to it. Found server receiving data, and there we are. So you can see, I joined. Now, another downside is there is no grief protection. So, back up your world if you are releasing this public. So, yeah, you can see, I joined inside the console. And a couple comments that you might want to know for griefers is kick or ban. Now, so you just go ahead and do that. That's how you kick someone. And if you want to ban someone, you just replace the kick with ban. Now, there's no tab or anything like that. It doesn't work like that, sadly. But anyway, I can go ahead and get out of this. Now, if you want to exit it, it's not like a micro server. You have to actually type slash exit. And there you go, lost connection. But, yeah, I hope this did help you, and make sure to join my server um, if you guys do like it. Now, think about this, there's also a Minecraft server with the same IP address, just with a different port, default port as well. We have pretty fun games in there, so, yeah, I hope this video did help you, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!